five, four, because it takes ages to start recording. Lovely, great, okay. So um, the most important thing is to relax and to use your brain. The most important thing is to relax and to use your brain. La chose la plus importante est de se reposer et d'utiliser son cerveau. Pause. What form of a verb comes after de? Don't answer me, just think. What form of, um, what is the pronunciation of an E and an R in French? Good. Go again. The most important thing is to use your brain. Lovely. The rest was perfect. The most important thing is to use your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, la chose la plus importante, c'est d'utiliser son cheveu. Now, no. we had a micro, we had a micro <laughs> join, but it wasn't quite joined. Can we have de and utilise totally back-to-back -back join? Yes, please? yes, yes. Go on. Uh, la chose la plus importante, c'est d'utiliser son cerveau. Cerveau, nice. La chose la plus importante est d'utiliser son cerveau. You can say c'est d'utiliser or a d'utiliser. Lovely, okay, we can go, go straight into it, okay? Okay, but at the same time... Um, our mouth gives us a series of choices. But at the same time, our mouth gives us a series of choices. Mais en même temps, euh, notre bouche euh, nous donnait euh, beaucoup de choix. Good. The only time you're going to hear donner is an infinitive, a vous, or an imperfect, or after a verb to have. Off you okay. go. But right. at the same time, our mouth gives us a series of choices. The rest was great. OK, moi, mais en même temps, notre bouche, nous donnons euh, beaucoup de choix. Save me, Luke gives me. Luke me donne. Great. Save me, Luke, uh, Luke gives me a rose. Luke me donne une rose. There we go. Save me, um, uh, my mouth gives me. Uh, ma bouche me donne. Lovely, ma bouche me donne. Soften the edges, soften the edges, ma bouche me donne. Throw it away. Ma bouche me donne. Lovely, okay. Lovely, okay. So not donner. Okay. Oui. Donner crops up when you do longer sentences and advanced students are used to going something long, something long, more than likely next, the verb towards the end is going to be a an, an infinitive. Yeah? Yeah. It's just, it's, a, it's, it's what I call a melodic error. Yeah? It's like a musical error. So the fact is, um, something, 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 our mouths give us, even though the give is that freaking far into the sentence, we are still mm -hmm. in a conjugated verb. Okay? So lovely, uh, yeah. lovely, no I can't the new, gave us yeah, and that's, it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Okay, good. Um, um, I love to do this kind of work with somebody who's got lots of experience. I love to do this kind of work with somebody who's got lots of experience. J'aime bien de faire ce genre de boulot avec quelqu'un qui a beaucoup de expérimenté. Pause. Family member, don't tell me which one it was. What's the family member? Don't tell me for experience. Okay. Go back again. I need de and a vowel to join yeah. in most cases. Yes. Okay? So I could say this. I could say de and que require a choice as soon as you start them. The other ones require a choice pretty much after you've said them. So, yes. uh, je vais, uh, and then you can go forward. Yes. Yes. And occur as soon as you freaking started those words, yes. or for some speakers, before you say the cur. You, mm -hmm. So some people like to think of it as a double choice. So before you say a du, you've got to know mm -hmm. the word after du as well. Of yeah? course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And a bit, a bit the same with an article. You need to know what's coming next. So in other words, we can't. So all that's going on there does mean an O, the duh plus an infinite. Of course she freaking does. It's the fact that it's like do it's it, as it drops down into the bottom of the pin, pinball machine, your brain's like do and then the next thing. So yeah. duh needs to know from the outset where it's yeah. headed afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Good? So yeah. I like to, I like to, I like to do this kind of work with somebody. Um, Let's say, I like to do this kind of work with somebody with lots of experience. I like to do this kind of work with somebody with lots of experience. J'aime bien faire ce genre de boulot avec quelqu'un um, avec uh, beaucoup d'expériment. Now, family members here, okay? So, experience is experience. You're oh, thinking of, you are what it's doing is imposing a switch. Imposing a switch is when people go, don't do that, I've got to swap it. I've, and and they, they have a permanent thing built into something where they go oh yeah i need to swap that so for example if you said uh the letter g and the, the letter j so some people go okay i must remember to swap that so a g 
in French, as in English, as, as in like, you know, garage or, you know, gorgeous. People go, okay, yeah, I've got to say it like a J, J. And then they swap it. And then mm. a, a J, like as in jump, they go, oh yeah, I've got to swap that. So G, that sounds a bit like a G. Mm -hmm. Only what they then do is they then learn that and they go, they swap it back. So they end up saying the yeah. wrong thing again. So your brain has gone, experience is experience, and that would be experienced. Experience. Yeah, that's okay. That's what right? I'm just going to ask, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. So I'm experienced, je suis très expérimenté. I've yeah. got lots of experience. J'ai beaucoup d'expérience. So go again. Yeah. I love to do this kind of work with people. I like to do this kind of work with somebody with lots of experience. Okay. Uh, J'aime bien faire ce genre de boulot avec quelqu'un avec uh, beaucoup d'expérience. Lovely. Remember to fill the holes with an er. Mm -hmm. Again, again, again. Remember, we, you didn't do it the second or the third time. Really fight. J'aime bien de whatever. Okay. Yeah. There's no, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, um, yeah. there's no, there's no, there's no, okay. Fight, 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 fight. Okay. Uh, lovely. Um, uh, you, as long as they've done enough French, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as long as they've done enough French, um, they're, their mouth suggests a few possibilities. As long as they've done enough French, their mouth suggests a few possibilities. Um, Nina, 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 Nina. Treat the beginning of a sentence just like the middle of a sentence, meaning start on an er uh, to get you okay. ready. Okay. So it might be the first freaking word also requires mental thought. So in other words, mm. just go, uh, yeah. So as long as they've done enough French, the mouth gives them, um, let's say the mouth gives them, um, uh, what should we say, uh, plenty of possibilities. Let's say that. As long as they've done enough French, the mouth gives them plenty of possibilities. Off you go. Okay. Um, à condition qu'ils fassent um, assez de français, uh, leur bouche, uh, hey, leur bouche, uh, Gives them enough, gives, give, sorry, gives them yeah. plenty of opportunities. Uh, leur bouche les sorry, donne... gives them plenty of possibilities. Oui, leur bouche les donne uh, uh, pas mal de possibilités. Good, I understood you. Go again. As long as they've done past. Ah, thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, enough work, we'll say. Change it up a bit. As long as they've done enough work, as long as they've done enough work this time. Um, uh, their mouth gives the, their mouth their mouth suggests plenty of possibilities. Let's just change it up okay. a little bit. As long as they've done enough work, their mouth suggests uh, plenty of possibilities. Uh, à condition qu'il ait fait um, assez de boulot, uh, leur bouche uh, les 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 sujets uh, pas mal de possibilités. Okay, a bit of a clean up then. So good. So firstly, I understood you. So what's the verb to suggest? Uh, suggester. Suggerer. Thank you. Suggerer. Now what you've got in your mouth is a half-formed muscle memory. Could you say for me management and to manage? Say gestion gérer. Gestion gérer. As in the skill of management. Okay. okay. Can you now give me suggestion suggerer? Suggestion suggéré. Nice accent, Nina. Can you now forget that and use proposé? Proposé. Okay. Luke suggested we go and do this. Luke suggested uh, alternative. Okay. Suggesting okay. an activity, just use proposé. Yeah. Okay. Proposé. okay. Next okay. thing, what's being suggested? Them, uh, or the, them or the possibilities? The possibilities. So is it going to be lay or leur? Leur. Okay, but why does Nina's mouth like lay? Because lay, pro, 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 lay with propos is fine. Because you, you will use a pronominal sentence where the, where the lay is necessary. You know, um, oh, I can tell you important. why. Because I had just said leur and it just felt weird to say it leur. It felt like a duplication. Yeah. 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 Leur yeah. bouche, yeah. leur. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's a completely okay. legitimate argument. That is a completely legitimate argument. You often get people dropping an a preposition if the verb happened to be a third person, il a. So, yeah. for example, if somebody said, il a demandé à, you know, Sam, he asked his mother, il a demandé à sa mère. People don't like saying double a. That it's why people a... don't like saying je peux pas because it's, p -p -p it's, it's the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. It's why in the causative people don't like saying uh, fait fait and or fait faire and all this kind yes. of business. Yeah? Yes. Good. So, à condition qu'ils aient, 
subjunctive okay. on the they, à condition qu'ils aient fait suffisamment de travail, suffisamment de boulot, okay. lovely, uh, rather, as, as well as I said, but maybe okay. nicer, à condition mm -hmm. qu'ils aient fait suffisamment de boulot, uh, whatever, uh, leur bouche uh, yeah. leur propose yeah. plein de possibilités. Mm -hmm. Lovely, um, great, um, good, good, good. Um, I'd like to modify the level of sentence we're using. I'd like to modify the level of sentence that we're using. Uh, J'aimerais modifier le niveau des phrases uh, qu'on utilise. Not wrong, but that's the level of the sentences that we're using. I just say the level of sentence. Okay. Uh, le niveau des phrases. That's the same thing again, the level of sentence. Uh, De? That's it. It's ah, fine. oui, the de phrase. Oui, oui. Okay, okay, right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Good, okay. Uh, great. Um, uh, it's fantastic. This kind of work, it's fantastic to do. Um, ce, genre de bol ce genre de boulot, c'est fantastique à faire. C'est fantastique à faire. Good. Fantastic. This kind of, um, it's fantastic to do this kind of work. Uh, C'est fantastique de faire ce genre de boulot. Lovely. Go again and modify the, the vibration required on the word fantastic. C'est fantastique de faire ce genre de boulot. Lovely. So in other words, correctly chosen. C'est fantastique à faire versus c'est fantastique de faire ce genre de boulot because she's carrying on with the sentence. Could we could have done il est there as well? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, lovely. Um, um, the only thing with the il est versus the say there is if you are making an, right, so if you are make, making an open impersonal statement, like it's fantastic, fine, you can say il est. If you get into the habit of saying this kind of work, it's fantastic to do, the your il goes back to being the subject pronoun for the vowel that you've just had, the, 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 um, the noun that you've just had. In other words, it does need to be get, it does need to be gendered. Okay. So if you're saying an open sentence. It's mm -hmm. fantastic to do this kind of thing. Where you get fantastic to faire ce genre de choses, that's fine. If you yeah. said this kind of work, it's fantastic to do ce genre de travail. Il est fantastique à faire. The yeah. il there is not an open. It's based on the gender of genre. So yeah. you could just as well say, um, not that I would, but you know, um, uh, cette méthode. Mm. And a fantastic, you know, that in other words, that method would then, yeah, just so you're okay. aware of the fact that that would slightly change. Okay, good. Um, uh, I'm, I'm really happy that my uh dryer, as in washing machine dryer, you know, I'm really happy that my dryer um has started to work again. Oh, good. Um, je suis très content de le, mon sache, mon sache de langue uh, fonctionne encore. Good. So be very careful when you, your brain recognizes a subjunctive and it goes, yay, um, emotional or impersonal, and it dives into the present tense subjunctive. That wasn't a present tense, was it? I'm happy that my washer has started. So your brain goes, yep, subjunctive. I've got the trick here. Be careful, it might be in the past. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Or well, you know, I, I get confused with subjunctive when it's like the same person doing it, but it isn't because you said I'm happy that my washer. Okay, yeah, 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 exactly. Also, yeah. before we go further, before we go any further, I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so you went into the duh. So I'm happy if somebody is being brought in who is a different person, I need a cur. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm happy. My it might just be the use of the possessive my. You might have heard, well, I heard an I on one side of the sentence and a my on the other side of the sentence. But the fact is, I'm happy and my washing machine's working. Two totally different characters. Okay, yeah. right, okay. right, okay. Yeah, because I was trying to keep it away from the subjunctive, but no. with it was still two yeah. characters, even though you're Men talking about me mentally restructure and don't have that as a choice. Have okay. it always subjunctive. The choice that you should have in place should be subjunctive present or subjunctive past. Oh, there's the same person. That, that's oh, okay, you. okay. Yeah, mentally yeah. remind map, mind map that. Have it as subjunctive present, subjunctive past. Oh, and there's the same person. Take it away. Yeah, okay. don't have it as like, oh, I must choose every time between cut and duh. Okay, you're okay. choosing between okay. present or past. Okay? okay. So, je suis content que ça fonctionne. Je suis content que ça ait commencé à fonctionner. 
uh, well, I'm happy that I function. Je suis content de function. I don't function, so that's ah, not oui. a good sentence. Good, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, uh, good. Uh, I'm going to deal with the clothes and then I'm going to go for a walk with you. I'm going to deal with the clothes and then I'm going to go for a walk with you. Euh, je vais me débrouiller avec les vêtements et ensuite euh, je vais pause, faire... Pause, 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 pause. Can we have a little bit of an intellectual... So an intellectual one is when I just go, instead of just going on muscle memory, let's just do a bit of a brain check. What is the verb to deal with rather than get rid of? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, no, no. I apologize. I apologize. Not I did say se débrouiller. Yes. Yeah, se débrouiller is more... Get yourself right. Basically, you are defogging a situation. You're getting yeah. yourself out of a, like a problem. So, okay. Yeah. So, in other words, just to generally deal with is s'occuper de. Se débrouiller oh. is basically if there's an element of a challenge that you've gotten through. So, for example, it's quite a common thing when people say, Oh, mais dis donc, Lina, mais qu'est-ce que tu parles bien? You know, uh, tu as un super niveau de français. Ouais, je me débrouille. Like, I get by. Oh, it's okay. kind of modesty for, you know, I nice. guess I'm, I'm muddled through. Oh, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't Do make it feel use so... Gérer so deal... Could you use gérer to deal with? If you had a noun, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like to, uh, you know, gérer la situation, but to be brutally honest with you, just use s'occuper, you know, you know, okay. you know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, so, so for me, um, um, I need to deal with the clothes and then we're going to go for a walk. Euh, J'ai besoin de m'occuper de les vêtements, de les Le vêtements. <laughs> <Ça date. clears throat> J'ai besoin de m'occuper des vêtements et ensuite euh, on va faire une promenade ensemble. Lovely, on va se promener. J'ai besoin de m'occuper, non m'occuper. Yeah, okay. J'ai ah. besoin de m'occuper. Oh, 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 yeah. J'ai okay. besoin de m'occuper. Make it more. Oh, 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 like hot. Yeah, okay, so occupé. Oh. J'ai besoin de m'occuper. Lovely. I tell you why the oh isn't comfortable in a, somebody's mouth who's been doing a lot of French. They think it's too English language. They really do. They think it's far too English language. They think it's a short English language sound. But we've got à la mode, for example, not mode, yes. à la mode. So m'occuper, say m'occuper, like say, say hot. I know a more American accent would say hot rather than hot, but say it like the English way, just say m'occuper. M'occuper. Hot. It. The way that I'd say sock as opposed to sark, okay? Yeah, okay. so, yeah, so muck your bit, muck your bit, yeah? Okay. Good, in other words, it can be short, which I know is a counter sort of indication to everything else we've done thus far, all right? Okay. Good, um, lovely. Um, although, although I bought myself a sweater at the supermarket, um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm happy with the color. Although I bought myself, although I bought myself a sweater at the supermarket, I'm happy. Wait, where else can you buy at the moment? Although I bought myself a sweater at the supermarket, I'm happy with the color. Euh, bien que je me sois acheté un pull au supermarché, euh, je suis heureux avec la, la couleur. Good. I don't <laughs> mind this. One of the things that is vital is that if you are going to be so everything we are trying to do is to make it sound smoother. Mm -hmm. If your intellectual speed is giving you some of these words at different speeds, the er will cover some of that, but mm -hmm. we've got to really soften it. We don't want vroom, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Vroom. So in other words, it can drop in at different speeds. That's okay. fine. But we really want to smooth the journey. We want it kind of, okay. For also, what is the word for um, a sweater that I'm on about? What's the word I wanted there? A um, pool. Lovely. Why is pool in your mouth? What is a pool? A hair. No, it's not a hair. Yeah. A oh, hen. it is? A hen. A oh, a hen, hen. pool. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you say mer, mer pool, like mother hen. Uh, you're thinking of poil, which is like a bodily hair. Not That's just hair, in the yeah. pubic region, just anywhere on the freaking body other yeah. than the head. Um, okay. And, um, and that's not a like, so if you said somebody was a poil, what are they if they are a poil? They are naked. They are indeed naked, <laughs> lovely. So, well. And kids generally, you know, uh, certain nationalities to one side don't have pubic hair. So the fact is, okay. um, yeah, but you'd still say up well for the naked. For naked. Okay. okay. Uh, good. Um, um, what shall I do? I need that. I need that. I need that. Uh, 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 I just need to get my cable. Um, um, 
I've got too many cables. I need to sort them out. I've got too many cables. I need to sort them out. Euh, j'ai trop de câbles, j'ai besoin de les tirer. Trier. Trier. Ah! Tirer is pull. Trier ou j'ai besoin de faire le tri. Nina, again, be careful. Trop de, not trop de. Yeah? Trop de oh, yeah. is too many yeah. of the cables, all right? Yes, okay. Uh, that's yeah. it, okay. Um, moi, j'ai oh, trop de câbles, uh, je dois vraiment faire le tri, okay? Um, um, one second, I'm just going to plug you in. Yeah, we're working. Um, uh, what would I do? What would I do without my chargers? What would I do without my chargers? Qu'est-ce que je ferais sans mes chargers? Lovely. Soften it. Go again. Qu'est-ce que je ferais sans mes chargers? Lovely. Okay. Good. Go as slowly as you can that you think is socially acceptable just to hear the richness in the voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go on. Go on. Try again. Let me see. Okay. Qu'est-ce que je ferais sans mes chargeurs? Notice the slowing it down allows a richness in some words that then allows you to show off the speed in other words. So it's not a less accomplished op op option. It's mm -hmm. kind of a... Mais qu'est-ce que je ferais sans mes chargeurs? It gives you the ability to, to, to sound really French. Nobody in France has ever said this person speaks too slowly, as long as it's all joined up. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. What yeah. we don't like is people taking time to get through it and therefore giving a space between the words because that means they shorten the vowel. Lovely. Um, uh, um, can you hear me? I'm going to put you on the sofa. Can you hear me? I'm going to put you on the sofa. Est-ce que tu m'écoutes? Mm, let's listen. Est-ce que tu m'entends? Est-ce que tu m'entends? Damn. Est-ce que tu m'entends? Uh, je vais le mettre dans le canapé. Go again. Je peux Can être you hear me? I'm going to put you on the sofa. Um, Est-ce que tu me entends? Oui. Est-ce que tu m'entends? Uh, so keep going. I haven't heard what I want yet. Okay. Um, uh, tu m'attends, je vais le mettre dans le canapé. So, few issues. Menton is a soft verb from entendre. Matton is wait for me. Yes. M attend and entend are the they forms or the subjunctive forms of both. So okay. So, to me, tu m'entends? Tu m'entends. Tu m'entends? Okay, socially get that in your brain. Tu m'entends? Tu m'entends? Lovely. Oui. T'arrives à m'entendre? Ah, t'arrives à uh, m'attendre. Oh, uh, we've gone back to wait. T'arrives à m'attendre, yeah. T'arrives à m'entendre. That's it. S'attendre, so which could give me a m'attendre, you know, like je vais m'attendre, I'm going to expect, you know. But yeah, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, so t'arrives à m'entendre, tu m'entends là? So if I was on Skype with a French speaker and I was like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Tu m'entends? Tu m'entends? Okay. Yeah, yeah oui. tu m'entends? Good, okay. Lovely. Oh. Um, uh, good. Um, it's surprising the washing machine works uh, because uh, nobody's replaced it since the year 2000. It's surprising the washing machine works because nobody's replaced it since the year 2000. How marvelous for the environment that that's the case. So, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so, so for me, it's surprising the washing machine works because nobody's replaced it since the year, the year 2000. C'est surprenant que le lèche, le lèche, that is not even the word. Um, oui. Uh, ah oui, le machine de lèche. I don't know washing machine. La don't, machine. Don't, don't, no. But Nina, okay. don't give me your working out, out loud. Yes, yes. All of that could have been done. All of that could have been done with. C'est surprenant que. Yep, yeah, keep your working out going on. Uh, go on, all in your head. I don't know about okay. that. C'est surprenant que le machine fonctionne parce qu'on a, uh, on a replaced it since the year 2000. Uh, rien, nobody, le, nobody. personne uh, le replacé uh, uh, des since, I, since depuis uh, mil, what was the year mil the year 2000. Uh, um, depuis l'année 2000. Right. C'est surprenant que la machine a lavé. 
function in French uses the preposition à. I'll say that again. Okay. Function uses the preposition à. So a, a machine with the intention of washing, une machine à laver. Yeah, ah. uh, a, a soup spoon, a coffee spoon, cuillère à café, not cuillère de. De ah. is just it's made of. So, okay. yeah, so function likes an a, so machine à laver. I think you're thinking of la vaisselle, which is like the dishwasher or something like that. I think you're picturing oh, a kind of, yeah. And when you went for la vaisselle, you came up with lèche. What does lèche mean? Um, oh, okay, yes. All right. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I yeah. have been licked since the year 2000. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I insist upon it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, lèche. Yeah. So um, c'est surprenant que la machine à laver marche parce qu'elle fonctionne parce que tu as personne là. What's the verb to replace? Remplir. That would be a correct muscle memory oh, on the first half of the word. Um, would span off into the word to fill out. Good job. Yes. Okay. Remplacer. Remplacer. So get it in your mouth. Don't over intellectualize. Remplacer. 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 Good. Okay. So pop the surprise in your voice. Okay. Well, C'est surprenant que la machine à laver um, uh, fonctionne. Uh, because nobody's replaced it. Oh, c est, c est, mais c'est surprenant que la machine à laver fonctionne parce que mais personne l'a remplacé depuis l'an 2000. Quoi. Good. Moving on. Um, uh, my grandmother wasn't necessarily against the idea of buying a new one. My grandmother mm -hmm. wasn't necessarily against the idea of buying a new one. Um, ma grand-mère était pas contre l'idée de d'acheter. You and your d think with the d before we enter the realm yes. of the d. Yes. <laughs> um, ma mère était pas aussi contre d'idée d'acheter. Ma grand-mère, ma grand-mère, ma grand-mère, ma grand-mère, c'était pas uh, assez contre de, de l'idée uh, d'acheter d'en acheter une autre. Um, you are making so many errors that make me happy. I can't even tell you, even though they're errors. Right, so let's talk through what you've just done. The first okay. thing is, I need to try and remember. The first thing is that you said contre deux. Because mm -hmm. you could be against something, contre deux, you know, like whatever. But define, um, but not as common, like contre le mur, you know, contre, ma grand-mère n'était pas contre l'idée. There's no deux, okay? Okay. Uh, lovely. Uh, ma grand-mère n'était pas forcément Yeah, necessarily or forcément. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Contre l'idée d'acheter. Now, a new one, washing machine, une nouvelle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Une nouvelle, okay. Uh, uh, or une toute neuve, you know. If it's, yeah. So, my mm -hmm. grandma, my grandma, she was not forcément contre l'idée d'acheter uh, une nouvelle. Uh, lovely. Um, the other thing that you did is, oh, I see. You said, my grandma said. And that's because recently we've done the work on il est versus c'est, as okay. in my grandma is, whatever, my, my, my right. grandma is French, my grandma right. c'est une, une Française, or c'est mm -hmm. une Française. Yes. Um, you know, so that's why musically that made sense to you, which is good, good. Okay. If we don't have musical errors, it means you've not got a muscle memory, which is which okay. basically says abandon all hope, ye who enter here, you know, <laughs> you've not got that by now. Good. Yeah. So just put it together for me. Uh, ma grand-mère n'était pas forcément contre l'idée d'acheter une nouvelle. Ma grand-mère n'était pas forcément contre l'idée d'acheter une nouvelle. Lovely. Une nouvelle could have been a bit sharper, but the rest oui. is gorgeous. Gorgeous, all right? Yes. Um, uh, um, yeah. Uh, what happened towards the end of her life was that uh, my mom used to do it for her. What happened towards the end of her life is that my mom used to do it for her. Um, ce qui s'est passé uh, vers uh, la fin de uh, sa vie, c'est ma mère, uh, ma mère avait l'habitude de le faire pour elle. My mom was used to doing it for her. Now, my used to, I can't remember whether I said my mom, yes. So, used to, beware, beware, beware. Which used to we in? Oh, which used to are we in? English is hard. Are we in the used to familiarity used to, or are we in the used to imperfect tense used to? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, they used my, to. My, my, my mom used, okay. When I was little, I used to speak French with my grandma. Translate that sentence. 
Euh, quand j'étais petit, euh, je parlais français Perfect. avec ma grand-mère. Okay. So you stuck is just as you've just beautifully shown us an imperfect tense. You're okay. thinking of I'm used to working with Luke, which would yeah, either be je suis mm -hmm. habitué à bosser avec Luke ou yeah. je suis whatever ou j'ai l'habitude de bosser avec Luke. So in okay. other words, used to can go in two different directions. Okay, right. you could even really be a fucker and have like, you know. Um, I used to be used to, but you wouldn't really say that. You're saying in those days I was used to. But if you want to say I used yeah. to be used to this kind of thing, alors j'avais l'habitude ou j'étais habitué. Yeah, good. Okay, great. Um, yeah, she. Um, yeah, so ce qui s'est passé vers la fin de sa vie est que because I'm bringing in my mom and I need the cut because I'm bringing in my mom. Yeah. Okay. Ce qui s'est passé vers la fin de sa vie est que est que ma mère. Yeah, because I'm bringing in my mom to do the verb. Okay. Et que ma mère le faisait pour elle. Okay. Um, Uh, good. Um, she used to feed the birds, and when the guy came to repair it, he said there was bird seed in the pipes, which actually made yeah. me quite like <laughs> sentimental. But oh, bless her! So um, she used to feed the birds, and when the guy came to repair it, uh, he said there was bird seed in the pipes. Elle, elle donnait à manger les oiseaux et quand le mec est arrivé pour le repérer, il a dit qu'il était les nourritures des oiseaux sur le toyo. Not bad. Uh, ma grand-mère donnait à manger. I mean, the verb is nourrir, but nourrir, you know, a bit formal. Um, you can say loger, nourrir, like fed and watered, but um, so my grandmère donnait à manger. Oh, you need the O oh there because she's, she's yeah. doing that to the birds, okay? Ah, okay. Uh, um, okay, et quand le mec est venu uh, pour la réparer, can we get a vowel okay. in place? We're on yeah. about a machine now. So pour la réparer, il okay. a dit. Now, if you're saying there was, il y avait, not il était, yeah? Yes. If you're saying il était, you mean elle était, plein, speaking about the machine. Okay. Elle était plein de, de graines, whatever, you know. Uh, or il y avait, uh, whatever, um, des graines, you know, um, oh, and the word you're after is tuyo, tuyo. Good, no, I don't under understood, I don't okay. understood you. Um, good. Um, what, have, what have I got left to do? Translate me. What have I got left to do? What have I got to left, left to do? Uh, uh, no, no. Il me reste, il me reste. Thank you. Put it with a question. Il me reste quoi de faire? Quoi à faire? Qu'est-ce qui me reste à faire? Qu'est-ce qu'il me, qu 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 me reste à faire? Qu'est-ce qu'il me reste à faire? Yeah. Il te reste quoi? Reste What have you got left? Il te reste quoi? Okay. okay. Uh, good. Um, uh, I've, ha I've had this t-shirt for 10 years and um, I'm proud. I'm proud uh, of that. I've had this t-shirt for 10 years and I'm proud. I've got t-shirts I've had for 20 years, quite frankly, but um, 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 I've, I've had this t-shirt for 10 years and I'm proud of that. Hmm. Uh, J'avais ce t-shirt. No, I've still got it. I've still got it. Ah oui. Uh, J'avais le t-shirt. Okay. I've still got um, it. Ah oui, oui. Uh, ça fait 10 ans que j'ai le t-shirt et je suis... This t-shirt? Uh, ce t-shirt et je suis fière de moi pour ça. Yeah, ou oh, oh, j'en suis fière. J'en suis fière. J'en suis fière. Ok, j'en suis fière. Ok. Um, I've just realized I shouldn't have dried this one because it's not 100% cotton. Okay. I've just realized I shouldn't have dried this one because it's not 100% cotton. Uh, je viens de rendre compte que... Je viens de... Rendre... No. M ah oui, je viens de me rendre compte que um, j'aurais pas pu... Uh, Sèche celui, sèche, ah oui, celui-ci, parce qu'il est... Um, It's not 100% cotton. Ah, ce n'est pas 100% euh, cotton, et on a quand même... Coton, coton. Coton. Okay. Good. So, je viens de me rendre compte que je n'aurais pas dû... Yeah, ah, you, you gave yeah. me delicious muscle memory. Moi, ouais, je viens de me rendre compte que je n'aurais pas pu... Non, que je n'aurais pas dû... Uh, uh, sécher celui-ci, 
Yeah. Celery needs to go somewhere. So right. basically, there ain't no words to just celery. Think about, think about, think of it as like that. Just, just, yeah. just, just, just exists. Celui-ci, celui-là, celui, celui qui, celui que. Alors, je viens de me rendre compte que, uh, que j'aurais, mais j'aurais pas dû uh, sécher celui-ci um, parce que tu vois, um, it's not 100% cotton. Oh, yeah. You know, the rest you've done, whatever. Yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Vero, Vero bought it me. If I'm not mistaken, oh. yeah. In fact, I know she did. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, Vero bought it me. Euh, si je me trompe pas, Vero m'a acheté. Bought it me? Bought me it? Vero me l'a acheté. Nice. Now, I liked what happened in your throat there. Me l'a acheté. Ouais, si je me trompe pas, ouais, si je me trompe pas, Vero me l'a acheté. Yeah, me l'a acheté. Yeah, OK. Me l'a acheté. Um, 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 yeah. Those were my two main colors for ages, but it got a bit too much. I'd be, actually, it's the, those three colors. It was either... Black, it says black leather and khaki, khaki, I know you say, and yeah. then like maroon mm -hmm. and gray. And that was it. And I had a wardrobe entirely comprised of those four colors. I, I remember just, from your videos. <laughs> it just got a bit like, not my work stuff. Like my work stuff used to be like all kinds of shit, but like, um, yeah. I've got a wardrobe closet. I've got a wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, that I came out of. Uh, I've got a wardrobe. <laughs> I've got a wardrobe full of uh, uh, full of smart clothes that um, I'd love to be able to wear more often. Uh, J'ai un placard plein de bons vêtements qui uh, que je voudrais porter plus souvent. Good. Don't use a uh, well and then have a pause. Use it or yeah. use it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Cupboard, I haven't got a cupboard, I've got a wardrobe. Oh, um, um, Garbos, or more likely armoire. Armoire, that's what I was thinking. Yes, armoire. Uh, une armoire, un armoire. Yeah, yeah, une armoire, une armoire. Plein, 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 plein de vêtements élégants. Vêtements. Yeah, Elegant. Elegant. Yeah. Okay. Smart is an interesting little word. Elegant. Smart, that's smart, Nina. Say, what's the word for smart? Say, mal. That's as in that's a smart decision. Say mal. I want to say sage, so I don't know what you're saying. Malin. M A L I N. I or thought Malin, that was like a smart ass, a petit malin. It is, but it's not a bad quality either. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as in smart, as in just street smart. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Malin. So basically, if you came up with an astuce, which is a shortcut, isn't it? Like a, like, not a shortcut, um, like a, like a helpful right. hint, like a thing that would make shit, yeah. shit go well. Uh, that would be uh, oh, mais c'est malin ça. That's not you're a, you're no you're quick with your mouth or anything like that. Yeah, no, c'est malin ça. Good. Um, uh, I uh, my brothers my brothers got um, loads of grey hair and certain colours suit him. Uh, not my twin, that would be freaky. But um, yeah. my weirdly, my younger brother is completely silver hair. Completely, completely. So, Sophie, my brother's got loads of grey hair and certain colour suit him. Uh, mon frère a beaucoup de cheveux gris et certaines couleurs valent... No, put pauses between words. Go again, go et... again. Soften mon, up. Put, 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 mon frère a beaucoup de cheveux gris et certaines couleurs, ça lui va. So, mon frère a beaucoup de cheveux blancs. Grey is the overall effect achieved by having lots of white hair in the French psyche. We say les cheveux blancs. Yeah, okay. okay. Which already is like a more of a positive experience, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Um, but let's not say that we're body, body positive in France because we still call pregnancy fatness. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Do, you Do you know what I mean? But uh, oui, il a beaucoup de cheveux gris. Um, uh, uh, whatever. Oh. Qui lui vend. Yeah, qui lui vend. Donc, um, so, the, whatever. There are lots of colors which suit him. You know, il y a beaucoup de couleurs qui lui vend. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ça te va? Ça veut dire. Good. Okay. Um, uh, before going out, I'm going to have a little cup of tea with you. Before going out, I'm going to have a little cup of tea with you. Avant de sortir, je vais avoir un petit tasse de thé avec toi. 
Good. I'd like you to gently, gently, gently concern yourself with rhythm without feeling it needs to make you faster. I don't want kings and queens on words which shouldn't be kings and queens. Okay. I want that to be a gentle concern of yours. I don't want it to be an overwhelming crippler for the process. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, lovely. This morning I did some weights and I swear to God, uh, the music made the difference. <laughs> if I don't have any, like, oh. if I don't have certain music, I'm a lazy little shit when it comes to exercise. I um, get it. <laughs> I, I realized that when I was at school, they were like, how can he be unlike all these dance scholarship things elsewhere? And he just can't be asked. It's sport. I love sport. I was always really good, but it's just, I was just like, oh, we're going to run yeah. around the field. Oh. I know. And then I realized it's because there's just no music. <laughs> yeah. That game. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> this morning, this morning, I, <laughs> this morning I did um, some weights and I realized it's music that makes the difference. Ce matin, j'ai fait un petit de muscle et je me suis rendu compte que c'est la musique qui, était, qui fait la différence. Lovely. Ce matin, j'ai fait un peu de muscu, parce que it's not short for muscle, like muscles, it's short for musculation. Okay? So, ce ah, matin, oui. j'ai fait un peu de muscu, j'ai soulevé, soulevé des poids. Um, um, et je me suis rendu compte, uh, voilà, bon, j'ai remarqué, but I prefer, je me suis rendu compte. Mais yeah. even j'ai réalisé, I just don't for your first choice. Um, que c'est la musique, c'est la musique, nice Nina, lovely choice of la, qui fait la différence, ok? Ou qui fait toute la différence, ok? Um, okay. As, long as, as long as we've got music, we can do anything. <laughs> um, tant qu'on a de la musique, on peut faire, euh, on peut faire tout. Good. I'm liking a condition a little bit more at the moment, just because it's okay. a construction. I'd like you guys to get down a bit better. Yeah? Okay. So I'm liking the awareness of all the ton phrases, and I did a video on that. But can we just push a condition a little bit more? Okay. Okay. okay a condition. Yeah. Okay. Um, one. To be honest with you, the ton works nicely there, rather than being a condition, because a condition is more of a stipulation. Like mm -hmm. you know, as long as that 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 requirement is met, um, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, uh, I need, where is it going, um, where's that, why is that not on, um, yeah, good, that's boiling, okay, uh, I need to be careful, otherwise I'm going to pour, I'm going to spill boiling water, uh, on my hand, I need to be careful, otherwise I'm going to spill boiling water on my hand. Euh, J'ai besoin de faire attention, autrement euh, je pourrais euh, renverser d'eau bouillante euh, sur la main. De l'eau bouillante. Yep. De l'eau bouillante. Um, bouillante. Don't neglect ou. Advanced pronunciation issue. Don't neglect ou in the middle of other words. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As in, more honestly, if I'm really honest, in the middle of other vowels. Yeah. Mm. Oui. Oui. Yeah. Oui. Okay. It, enjoy the Scooby Doo on that. De l'eau bouillante. Bouillante. Okay. Uh, yeah. There used to be this really, really, really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if he's really well respected, but. Anybody that dyes their hair that much and wears that much matte foundation over 60 kind of has got it coming. But there used to be a guy called James Lipton, who sadly passed away, who used to do a, a very good interview series in America um, called Inside the Actor's Studio. And he really, really oh. loved himself. Where he every, died? I'm sure, James, I'm sure he died. Yeah. Um, and he used to really love quoting at the end of every interview. He'd be like, and now a question from so-and-so's bouillon de culture and i'd be just like oh. but yeah but you know what i mean but like yeah but yeah but there are plenty of words which are ooh -wee. i'm sure he died yeah. let me just check i'm fairly sure he died yeah i think he died 40 years ago he just carried on doing interviews oh. from the look from the looks of things um well that's um, like um oh my gosh who's the other guy that was such a big um interviewer always wore suspenders he looked like he was dead for the last few years Oh, yeah, I know the theatre thing, the one that used to be like, give the little reviews in his little armchair thing. Um, yeah, he, so he's, he's from, wow, okay, he's from Detroit, okay. Um, um, 
yeah, delusions of grandeur. Um, and he died in fucking hell. He was ninety three. He looked good. Um, yeah, he um, he was uh, yeah. Oh my god! It is always the people that have got like a chip on their shoulder that go on to do so so well. Um, education, Wayne State University, brackets dropped out. Um, I mean, do you know what I mean? Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, spouse, Nina Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Interestingly, um, that that only lasted five years. Uh, and then uh, in 1970, he married uh, Kedekai Turner. I'm guessing that was a chap. Um, uh, good. Lovely. No, I like the guy. Uh, but what I'm saying is, um, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, um, yeah, he used to just say, hang on, I'm trying to think what the reference was he used to. Um, um, uh, hey, what, what's, the, what's the thing he always used to refer to? One second. In the actor's studio? No, the... Um, 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 Yeah, that's it. Um, so the TV show that he used to refer to was called a Bouillon de Culture, which is basically like a oh. stew, a broth. Yeah, like a bouillon. It's like oh, a, okay, yeah. Because it's boiled up, basically. Yes, yes, um, okay. Yeah, and so a bouillon, where we get bouillon, yeah, boiling, oh. the low bouillon, or bouillé, <laughs> the verb. Um, yeah, so this bouillon de culture was like a well-known. Now, I like that as a sentence because you've got the ou and the u. So yeah. really on the future. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry he's passed away. Um, mm -hmm. because uh yeah, uh he was um he was he was a classy guy. Uh I'm désolé qu'il soit mort parce qu'il était un homme uh, classy. Now that would kind of be like in the conventional sense. If you want to go a little bit more elegant with the word, yeah. Uh, that he's no longer there. Because it's a nom uh, with a lot of class. He had a class. Okay. If something is just like, so say I walked in and I wasn't for once, and I weren't hypothetically in gardening uh, clothes. He'd be like, oh, la, 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 la class, la grande class. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, hypothetical. Fucking okay. hypothetical. Yeah, okay. Oh, la classe. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Good. She, she is used. There's a really annoying, but today's a reference. But actually, do you know what? You kind of need to know when French words kind of enter popular culture elsewhere. Il faut vraiment savoir, tu vois, quand il y a du langage d'origine française qui, qui pénètre euh, euh, à l'étranger, quoi. Um, so there's a, there's a show called Brides of Beverly Hills that I watch with my daughter. Yeah, uh, although we prefer say yes to the dress. Um, and there's a kind of Asian American guy on it, uh, not just Asian American, as in with a, an, an Asian accent who's living in America. Who, when somebody finds something, he goes, She, she, darling, she, she. And I don't know where he's got that from, but he knows that she, she in French means like quite like this. But it's yeah. almost a little bit, if you say she, she, you ain't posh. You ain't classy. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. It's just like it's like when you took somebody and they went, "Oh, it's dead fancy here, isn't it?" No, it's just got wallpaper and clean carpet. But to you, that's the. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. So in other words, she she is just don't use she she. Use elegant. Yeah, use yeah. Elegant. Okay. Use elegant. Okay. <laughs> what was the word for smart? If it was intelligently smart. Um, melon. Mala. 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 Right. Keep going. Yeah. Um. Great. Um. Thanks to the, the marvels of YouTube, um, mm -hmm. I've discovered plenty of uh, TV shows from the 70s again. I've, thanks, uh, so I've rediscovered. So thanks to the marvels of YouTube, I've rediscovered plenty of TV shows from the 70s. <laughs> um, grâce aux merveilles. Grâce aux merveilles. No, 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 no. We've had a bit of a conversation, and so your brain has gone back into clever Nina rather than going slowly thinking it through, Nina. Okay. Uh, between any vocal discovery you're going to make. Okay. Uh, between any discovery. Okay. Uh, grâce au merveau de YouTube, j'ai redécouvert beaucoup d'émissions de, des trois soixante-dix ans. So, 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 grâce aux merveilles de YouTube, euh, j'ai redécouvert, mm. euh, j'ai découvert euh, encore une fois euh, beaucoup de séries now, we start ah. to use the word série more than émission, thanks okay. to oh, Netflix. Um, yes. 
uh, or Amazon Prime, I don't want to be accused of being biased, is basically, because we're just thinking about TV shows as like the whole caboodle, mm. do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, so younger people in France now don't say mon émission préférée, they tend to say ma série préférée. Yeah? Okay. You would say les séries cultes. Les séries cultes sur M6, you know, like cult TV shows on M6, for example. Yeah, okay. so série, série. Which is just a normal word for a series as in a series of events. Okay? Yeah. Good. We also used to, in the UK, say the first series, the second series. And okay. America used to say the first season and the second season. And oh, now, yeah. because of the ubiquitous nature of reviews online, we've started to say, and season finale. You never said season finale in, in, in England. You now say, um, we now say season over here as well. And in France, that would be saison. Première saison, deuxième saison. Okay? okay. Good. Lovely. Okay. Um, good. Uh, it's, e it's, e it's, it's becoming easier and easier to, to uh, watch this kind of content. OK. Um, ça devient de plus en plus facile de regarder ce genre de content. So, contenu. Yeah. Yeah. So, ça, ah, devient, de ça devient de plus en plus facile de regarder ce genre de contenu. Yeah. OK. Lovely. Ça devient de plus en plus facile de regarder ce genre de contenu. OK. Um, um, uh, yeah, um, I'm. I think it's impressive that Netflix. Well, actually, it's not even Netflix, is it? It's Google Chrome. I think it's impressive that Google Chrome have launched something to help those who are learning languages. I think it's impressive that Google Chrome have launched something to help those who are learning languages. Euh, je pense que c'est impressionné que Google Chrome a lancé quelque chose d'aide les gens qui, euh, qui essaient d'apprendre les langues, euh, les langues étranges. Là, les langues... Je vais vous demander une série de questions intellectuelles et je pense que vous allez bien avec tout ça. Quel est le mot pour impressive plutôt que impressed? Um, impressionnant. There we go. Uh, what's for, so it's impressive that, what follows that? Uh, C'est impressionnant que. No, I mean intellectually, what, what, what follows? It, it's impressive that. It's impressive that. Um, what, 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 what follows? I don't mean in my example, but, but I mean generally intellectually, what follows? It's impressive that. Subjunctive, yeah. Why? Why? Oh, 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 yes. Okay. No, I wouldn't have thought that. Okay. Um, because it, it's um, impressive that it's it's an opinion. It's kind of, or no, is no, it. No, no, don't go with opinion because opinion will lead you away. It's basically it's yeah. an impersonal sentence. It's impersonal. Basically. Okay. Yeah. It's an impersonal sentence, and your adjective isn't, you know, one of the I... really solid ones that will make it indicative. Okay. Good. Cette impression que, again, what did Lukey tell you to watch out for? Make sure that if you've got one of these, that we, we, our two options are what? Yeah, present, present and past, present. that's it. So, mm -hmm. c'est impressionnant que Google Chrome ait lancé. Okay, um, yeah. Whatever, um, something, you know, quelque chose, whatever. To help those who are learning foreign languages. How would you say to help those who are learning? Oh, no, I'm asking you the questions. How would you say those? Uh, ce. Who are learning? Uh, ceux qui apprennent. Foreign languages. Les langues étrangères. Spell long for me. L A N G U E S. Spell étrangère. E so, so we've already got an S plus an E. What's that going to be? Les langues étrangères. Ah, oh, les langues étrangères. Lovely. There are multiple foreign languages. Ah, uh, yes. Good, 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 good. As soon as we're done with French with you, which is about, about four days from now, um, <laughs> we'll get going on Spanish and Italian. You do them easily. So the fact is, Les langues étrangères, les langues étrangères. We're just used to saying une langue étrangère. In your discussion of life and Ninaism and what it's like to be Nina, you know, you use langue étrangère loads. But, you know, les langues étrangères, les langues étrangères. Okay. Good. Um, so, aide à, as well. Um, so, c est, c est, whatever, c'est super, what did I say? C'est impressionnant que Google Chrome ait lancé quelque chose pour aider à ce... Um, uh, um, no, 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 no. I apologize. No, it's because I'm going slowly. Aider quelqu'un à faire quelque chose. Luke, speaking French. 
c'est très impressionnant que Google Chrome a, ait lancé quelque chose pour aider ceux. Yeah, aider quelqu'un à faire quelque chose. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, so je, I help him, je l'aide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, I don't mean this in an annoying way. This is going to come across the most annoying sentence in the entire world. Um, sometimes going slowly, is, is, you, lo you lose yeah. the, what am I saying thing? And I know that's so annoying to people who are desperately trying to up their speed. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm helping him to do it. Je l'aide, je l'aide. Yeah, it, it's I, not je lui aide. Good, okay. Uh, good, good. Nice, Nina. Freaking good job. Freaking good job. <laughs> Well done. Bloody good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.